Buenos dias, guten tag, and welcome to the recorded MailChimp Getting Started webinar. I've logged into my MailChimp account and I'm here on the dashboard. And there's two ways that I can create a new list. I can come right over here to create a subscriber list or just head up here to the main navigation bar and then click on list. I'm going to create a new list here so mouse over here to create list and click and then I'm going to hit create list. Now I'm in the list builder here and go through each field here and fill it out. The first one here is list name. This will be the name of your list and this is something that your subscribers will see. So you want to make sure it's appropriate for your audience. We're a rock band and we're going to announce our 2011 world tour. So we're going to call this the world tour announcement list. The next field is our default from name. This could be your brand name, the name of your shop, the name of your restaurant, or your first and last name. But whatever your brand name is, that's what should go there. The name of our band is called the Chimps, so we're going to put that right there. The next field is our default reply to email address. This is the email address that my subscribers use to contact me. Here I'm going to put the Chimps at yourdomain.com. I recommend that you use your own domain for your reply to email address. This helps with your branding. It also helps with internet service providers. When they see that you're using your own domain, they look a lot more favorably on that than if you use a free email account. The next field here is our default subject. That is not a required field, so we are going to skip over that and then head right here to the permission reminder. My permission reminder should be polite, specific, and provable. I'm going to put my permission reminder here. My permission reminder says you are receiving this email because you signed up at thechumps.com. This is required by law, by the Can Spam Act, and also by MailChimp Terms of Use. Now the next field here is my physical address. This is also required by the Can Spam Act and MailChimp Terms of Use. This could be either your physical street address or a P.O. box. So this is great if you are an actual brick and mortar business. You can put your address right there and let people know where you're located. However, some of us work from home. We may not want the whole internet to know where we live. In that case, we can use a P.O. box. These next fields notify me when either someone subscribes or unsubscribes from my list. And then finally down here at the bottom, I have email format. This will put up an option on my sign up form where my subscribers can choose what type of format they want, whether they want HTML, plain text, or mobile. I'll check that and then click Save. MailChimp tells me that my list is now created. I'm going to click Done for now. 